Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. Do you enjoy me Friday for today's second video? So, as always on a Friday, we have a look at the weather for the month ahead with Japanese and the CFS V2 models. And I should get on with that for you in a moment. Just say that the first video today was our 6am upload. And we've got a 10 to 14 day with all our break features coming, coming up for you later on this afternoon. Please like, share and subscribe on those videos. And thank you so much everybody um, for doing that. No live stream uh, tonight. I'm going to uh, leave Friday Night Live Stream uh, for this week. Um, I am feeling a lot better from uh, the abscess uh, that I've had in my tooth um, this week. But still feeling a bit tired, a bit fatigued and whatnot. So I think probably best uh, to uh, knock the stream on the head uh, for this week. Hopefully all of the live streams will be back as normal by uh, Monday. If you could please like, share, subscribe on the video. Thank you so much everybody uh, for doing that and hope having a lovely, lovely Friday. Right, going to start off with the week one 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic and North Pole view down. So this would be uh, North Pole of the uh, Arctic just here. This is the wider Arctic circle around there. They've got mid latitudes through here, of course. Blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. These are broken down into week periods, the first week period. First weekly period will take us from the 3rd uh, today through to the 10th of February. So the coming week will be dominated by high pressure, large area of above average height system right over top of the UK and much of West Europe as well. We're going to be high and dry in the week ahead. Uh, going through to uh, week 2, which is going to be the 10th to the 17th of uh, February, we find high pressure maybe going a little bit towards Scandinavia then. So possibly bringing in some sort of southeasterly, almost easterly type flow. It's still very anti-cyclonic, so it should be a lot of dry weather. All the low pressure is uh, away out in the Atlantic there. So again, high pressure dominates as we get through into week two. And then weeks three and four will take us from the 17th of February to the 3rd of March. And no real changes, to be honest, above average heights, high pressure continuing. To see it right over the top of the UK and much of Western Europe. It's going to be an exceptionally dry February uh, if the German forecast is right. Really, is high pressure all the way uh, for the next four weeks. All of the low pressure kept away from us out in the Atlantic. Let's confirm all of that the tropical and mid latitude view. So we can't see the Arctic, Greenland, Scandinavia, Iceland, all those areas of chart up here. We've had a look at that view down though. So we know what's going on. You can iron in the top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. And a reminder of the week one 500 millibar height anomaly, which takes us from the 3rd through to the 10th of February, with high pressure sat right over the top of the UK and uh, Ireland as well. So the coming week is going to be milder than average, especially so in the north. Actually, just to ourselves, it is colder than average. We are quite close to cold weather over on the continent. We may import some of that in across England and Wales in particular in uh, the weekend, while Scotland and Northern Ireland, or well, Scotland and Ireland, has a milder uh, type week. Um, week 2 is attempt to 17th of February, and we have high pressure again over the country, but also this time maybe going more towards sort of southern Scandinavia. So like Denmark, uh, that sort of area, northern Germany, which might bring in a continental flow, like from the southeast. But temperature anomaly, um, still a little bit above average for Scotland, near a normal elsewhere. Over on the continent, it still looks like it could be a bit on the cold side. Um, now, I reckon that could be a cold anticyclonic sort of continental type flow. And uh, as far as precipitation is concerned, it's a drier than average week as well, away from northern and western Scotland. And then week three and four, not really showing much change, to be honest. Above average height still sitting there over the top of the UK, Ireland, and much of uh, western Europe as well. Temperatures go milder than average uh, there into week three and four, which of course is the 17th of, uh, of February to the 3rd of March. Above average temperatures by around a degree. And uh, still significantly drier than normal. What we great expect with this is a lot of overnight frost and fog, which the model won't be taking into account with both temperature forecasts. 
Right, so let's see how a CFS B2 compares. So again, these are 500 millibar height anomalies. They're broken down into weeks periods. The first week period will take us from the 3rd to the 9th of February. The coming week is again dominated by high pressure sitting over and slightly to the east, northeast of the country. So almost bring in a cold flow from uh, the east there with the uh, CFS. And uh, week two is attempt to sit deep for February, still dominated by high pressure right over top of the UK and uh, much of Western Europe as well. Week three <laughs> will be the 17th to 23rd of February. High pressure beginning to slip over towards the Balkans of the Black Sea. Low pressure developing to our north and also to our west. Probably turning milder there, bringing up wind from more of a south, southeasterly, south southerly type direction. It is a rather strange anomaly. Um, and then week four is the 24th of February to the 2nd of March. High pressure appearing over and to the north of the country. The high pressure going into retrograde. Remember, uh, Terry in his February forecast told us that we've got to watch out uh, late in February, in the final week or so, the high pressure to start retrogressing towards Greenland and Iceland. Is that the start of that? Uh, that could start to bring colder air from the north and from the northeast if that high pressure goes far enough towards Greenland and uh, Iceland. So, get to the end of February into the beginning of March, could we be seeing some signs of colder weather? Temperature anomalies for week one, third to the night of February, look like that. Mild average of Scotland and Ireland, a little bit colder than average of England. Where look how cold it is over on the continent, especially eastern parts of Europe, really cold through the Balkans to the Black Sea, severely cold uh, through there. Week two is a temp to the 16th of February. I uh, still have that idea, but it's mildly in the north and the south, actually. So, again, uh, this could well be indicating there's going to be overnight frost through the first half of February. Maybe quite significant frost for England and Wales. A little bit less so, Scotland and Northern Ireland. Looking cold than normal, just over the other side of the channel on the continent. Week three is the 17th, 23rd of February. That's a little bit milder than average. And week four is 24th of February, 2nd of March. That is also going a little bit milder than average. Not sure about that. Depends how far north we take that high pressure. And then finally for precipitation, week one, third to ninth of February, drier than normal. Week two, which is be 10th to 16th of February, also looking uh, very dry across most parts of the country. Week three is the 17th, February 23rd. Um, deal driving average, particularly for England and Wales. Week four, losing the signal, but I would suggest that week is also likely to be on the dry side. This could be exceptionally dry February. That may be the, the big storyline of this uh, February, but we have, whoops, we have a very, very um, dry uh, month of it. We'll have to wait and see uh, about that. Right, so uh, that's it for uh, Germany Friday for, uh, for this week. That's just a snapshot of what these models are showing. They could look completely different when we look at them again next week. So, you know, we'll see how they're looking next Friday when we do Germany Friday uh, next time. Uh, we're going to be back shortly with the 10 to 14 day, which will include all our regular features. So I shall see you then uh, for that. For this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.